get some spazer, about to make some greens, baby, about to make some greens. So this recipe is going to include garlic, onions, got to have that cut, shredded carrots, yes, I put some carrots in my greens, okay? I like color in my food. Nutrient dense, baby. And just so I'm not wasting food, I'm going to use red peppers too. Uh, green peppers and all that. And the star of the show, kale. Mm. Also, I'm going to use the rest of this organic kale. That's what I'm going to We don't waste any food. You feel me? My seasonings, broth, oh, <laughs> garlic and herbs, black pepper, baby. And probably some paprika, I don't know. But you season yours to your flavor because other people like different flavors. Some people put hot sauce on their grain, so you know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm using because that's what I like. Here is the beautiful mix of all those peppers and onions. We're going to let that get percolating, let those flavors start bursting. Then we're going to be right back. I just got to say, you got to watch that documentary about Katrina because, yo, that is real. Yo, this is so ill. We have to be self-reliant. So, anyway... We got our little base cracking. Look at all that. I love rainbow food. So now we're going to add the star, the greens, baby. So what you do after you brown that, you add your greens and let that marinate, percolate. And I'm going to just add some here. But y'all, like, yo, this is green actually. You know what I'm saying? I revisit it sometimes, like 9-11 and things like that, to um, kind of remind myself to be grateful for what it is that you got, because, you know, you just never know, and it kind of reminds me of the flood in 1937 out here, so, I don't know, like, I don't know, but I like to remind myself of those things, not just for gratitude's sake, but to kind of get an insight on our government and things like that. So I don't know. God bless them. But um, I'll be back with some more greens and stuff. And uh, yeah. So while I wait, I I was on this part where um, the mayor had went off or the governor, I may be getting it all wrong, but I'm just, my mind's blown. But when he finally went off, that's when he had got some help. Like they, the, our government failed. Like that's when George Bush was the fuckhead running the country. And to be honest, I revisit this a lot because that was like literally four days after my dad died. So I was just oblivious to a lot of the things. And like I mentioned in the other video, I think that situation kind of equaled the sadness that I felt inside, you know, and I was in so much pain that, you know, um, I just, I, 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 uh, I, of course, was grief stricken because especially when Kanye was like, George Bush doesn't care about black people. And meanwhile, he's playing golf and sipping tea and having a funky, good ass motherfucking time. That's when I joined the anti-Bush regime is when I was in Cleveland. My auntie, she could verify that we was laying in the streets and getting chased by police and everything so yeah man that was a crazy crazy time for the girl and the country and that's just so fucked up like how they were just so slow to respond and they just didn't give a fuck like they really just didn't give a fuck about those people so anyway um it's just really deep and we have to acknowledge those things we can't sweep those things under the rug because you know um it can happen to you. So, well, um, 
while we wait for those greens to get popping, I'm going to show you my cornbread. Mine's a little brown, but it's good. I added um, onions, tomatoes, and carrots. I'm going to show you a slide. So here is the inside. Doesn't it look hella good with the crunchy stuff? Yeah, yeah. So here's my theory. If your food don't look like a rainbow, let it go. If it's too brown, put it down. So yeah, I'm about to get back into this documentary and I'm gonna come back with some yams. Also, I wanted to show y'all, let me pause this show. My soup. Look at that, it's cooking in the background. It's been about 30 minutes, but that's what it should look like. All the nutrients, oh my God. I love healthy food, I don't know why. My mama named me right, bunny, <laughs> honey bunny. Well, I'll be back in a few with the end. All right, all right, all right. So, we got our greens and they're looking good. I just had a long combo with my it was so good. So now we got the yams. It's been a long time lapse in that clip. <laughs> so, and the yams, right? So we got the pineapples and the yams all together. Because we don't waste no food, baby. We're going to take our honey and add to it. Boom, boom, pow. And I'm going to give her a good, you know, layer of action. You want to glaze her up real good. And I'm going to work that in there, season it up to my liking. But those are the healthy things that I put together. It's going to make it really sweet and really good. So that will be my dinner for the week, the greens and the yams. And of course, with some cornbread. And so I did use eggs for this. So I, they didn't have any more just eggs. Uh, that vegan eggs, so I use real cage free eggs or whatever. So, these joints, I feel a little guilty, but it's what it is. I've been eating them longer than I have, it, but I don't, I don't want them straight on, so I don't feel like I want to just fry me up an egg with tubs, like, I don't feel like that, but. Now, we're going to wrap, throw that in the oven, slice this up, put it away for the week, and then we're going to work on the next meal, which I'm excited to do, because it's going to be some, there's a little preview, vegan macaroni and cheese, because my mama is not about to have me starving because she want to eat dairy, okay? So, what this will include is some veggie pasta. Coarse cashews for a sauce. We got us some cauliflower on deck. And we got us some potatoes. So I'm going to show y'all how to put that together. So you can make you some cheesy macaroni and cheese. Oh, also. Now this is dairy free and soy free. Or is it? Is this the one? Yeah. Dairy-free, soy-free. So if you got, like, joint problems and things like that, you want to look for soy-free. You want to try to eliminate the soy. These are the ingredients here. We always got to look at our ingredients or whatever. So tapioca starch and coconut oil. So uh, for the most part, that's what we're going to be eating is some konjac gum and xanthan gum so those are the ingredients that make it the cheesy consistency to shred it this is a little hard to note so i'm going to show you a better way to make your mac and cheese pop because some other videos are struggling and your girl likes to eat okay also also hold on We'll be making some vegan wings with our cauliflower. So, like I always say, peace, love, hair, grease, and all that jazz. Stay woke. Shout out to Pooh. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.